My name is Emily Martin and I am a senior art and sociology major. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. I'm Aaron Navarro. Um, I'm from New York. I've settled in New York. It's Long Island, Long Island. It's a very small little hamlet town. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm a studio art major. I'm Haley Hughes. Uh, I'm a senior at Berman and I'm a double major in art and French. So I first started to think about my senior show project about a year ago. I took a sociology course on collective memory, um, which got me thinking a lot about how do we remember people, how do we commemorate lives, how do we commemorate events, um, and how does that change over a period of time, or does it change over a period of time? So my work uh, basically ideates around the fact of that uh, Christian families kind of tend to throw their loved ones out after the closet um, and I take um, my images from uh, little uh, trinkets and knickknacks that I spray painted that are religious iconography. I started thinking about my project the summer before senior year and um, it was pretty apparent uh, that I wanted to use uh, paper as a medium to discuss the idea of intentionality. So the biggest challenge for me with this project, in the beginning at least, still now, but was uh, I wanted to honor these women. And for me that looked like I want, I want to, um, to visually represent who they are, what they're about, what they've overcome in one painting. And so that proved to be really challenging uh, and also hard for me because I'm kind of a perfectionist and I wanted to commemorate them well. Um, because this could potentially shape how someone views this particular woman and potentially gender inequality. Uh, so that felt like a lot of pressure in the beginning. And then going through the process, the imperfection of, of uh, painting and, and uh, not being able to perfectly depict this woman's face or um, this sort of scene, uh, that's kind of a part of it. This, this isn't a perfect process, it's not supposed to be. Um, it's more about uh, how I've just learned so much through this process and, and I think commemoration doesn't ask us to perfectly remember people, it just asks us to, the, to remember them somehow and for me it's become a really personal process. Um, I think within the realm of the senior seminar itself, um, you're definitely um, encouraged and kind of ridiculed if we don't. Um, to go through periods of heavy productivity. Um, but I personally um, go lean towards a uh, more creative route. Um, I love being uh, able to produce things. I think the only reason why I got able to produce so much work was just because of the nature of my process, um, which is photography. I think just within the context of um, the senior show, and the way it's structured with critiques and um, kind of this peer review kind of aspect. Um, there's not, in my mind, or at least in my experience, it was tough to kind of balance productivity with creativity because of the time period just like being allotted to us, it's not, it's not a lot of time. And it's hard for me to feel not stressed about that and then also be able to say, yeah, I'll just go do this for like six hours and feel awesome and creative. And that was totally not what my experience was. Um, I felt very uh, kind of like my stress was very pent up and not well managed um, just because of the time constraints. And it led me to be less creative and less and, and less productive. As I started uh, just kind of thinking about what's important to me, what's a part of my identity, um, who, who to me is, is it important that we commemorate and that we remember. 
And for me, uh, that was strong, powerful women who have deeply impacted um, the United States throughout the different waves of the fitness movement. My project, I would like to offer solace to those who kind of can't come out or they fear to come out because um, even in my experience dating, it's like, okay, well, I had to do with my partner um, not being out. So I can't hold hands in public without getting rid of food. I can't um, show some type of affection, just like a pat on the back without getting a funky look. Um, and in that, I just wanted to point out that, hey, this is not okay. We still are people too. This idea of intentionality, um, it's kind of abstract. And I, at first I was kind of applying it to my relationship with the people and how two people may view their relationship and who, who brings what to the table and at what cost. And do I have time to spend like this amount of energy with person A and not have enough energy with person B, even though that person B is maybe more important to me in the long term? And how do I kind of navigate that? Um, I'm very introverted. Um, I don't have a lot of energy for personal relationships um, in my own life. And so kind of learning how paper can re like and paper cutting can reflect um, that kind of personal experience uh, was kind of the end goal for me. And I kind of ended up in this place where I was, think as I thought about it more and I was working on this project more, it came to me that I was thinking more about the art itself and my relationship with art and my relationship with my artistic process. It kind of became this like twofold thing where it, though it's representational of the relationships in my life, it's also representational of the process that I go through to create something and how intentionality matters there. Thank you.